Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here with another fun-filled day of science. Thanks for joining me today. So yesterday we began talking about absorbency and how liquids um, become absorbed into fabrics or how they um, get soaked into fabrics. We learned how it happens differently depending on what the fabric is, how it's made, and how tightly wound or how tightly knit the fabrics are, right? If I'm cupping my hands like this, expecting water, expecting to hold water in my hand, if you pour water in my hand and my fingers are like that, odds are the water is going to get through. However, if I have my hands cupped together and my fingers are like this, the water still might get through if my fingers are cupped together and pinched closely together, the odds are the water will get through a lot more slowly or not at all or not in the time that I need to transfer it, okay? So that's an important thing to consider as we choose articles of clothing, especially depending on the weather. On rainy days or days that it snows, um, it's important to pick fabrics that either repel or completely keep off moisture. Um, it's important to find things like waterproof shoes or raincoats or umbrellas. And those things are especially helpful in terms of keeping you dry, which is really awesome. Now today, what I want to do is kind of piggyback or join on to that thought, um, the fact that what fabric or clothing is made out of impacts how the fabric com becomes clean also. Now fabrics don't just absorb water, they absorb dirt and dust from the environment, as well as oil from your body. I'm not sure if you know this, but your skin lets off oil throughout the day. It's your body creates an oil to moisturize your skin. We usually put on lotion or a lot of us put on lotion when our skin is dry to help us out and to make it nice and soft. But our skin does a really good job of making sure our hands are moist and our bodies are moist all on its own also. Well, that oil also gets into our clothes, which is why we need to, which is one of the reasons why we need to wash them. Now, your clothing absorbs the oil from your skin as well as the things in the environment around you. Today, I want you to think about that and how it happens and how it might affect your choices. Like I said earlier, if it's going to rain, I make sure to choose clothing that is going to keep the rain off of me. Okay, but what else comes to mind when you choose your clothes? Do you make any clothing choices based on things you're going to do or on your clothing's ability to keep you either clean or dry? I'll let you choose between those two, keeping you clean or keeping you dry. And what are some things to keep in mind when you make those decisions? Share, have fun sharing those thoughts with me today in your Seesaw page, and I can't wait to hear from you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.